A very pleasant evening to you and thank you so much for joining all of us here on Fresh Juice. I'm Movie Hayford, but the fans who love me, they are the only ones who are brave enough to use Movie the Motivator. And I hope you join that courageous family every Mondays to Wednesdays at 5 p.m. This is what you get. My beautiful self, Eesh, that's a bit conceited, isn't it? But someone just told me I look beautiful, so I had to slip that one in there. But make sure you're following me on all social media platforms at Movi the Motivator, where you and I can interact and you can tell me where I've been naughty and not or nice and all of that. It's important to love and it has to be two-sided, a two-way street where we obviously learn from each other teach each other you know and that's what life is all about but before i get into it today i want to remind you of our awesome shows right here on joy prime so get ready to spice up your tv viewing experience with joy prime our little kitchen talents are turning up the heat on big chef junior showcasing cooking prowess that'll leave you craving more but wait there's a new kitty wonderland in town that's for kids paradise where fun knows no bounds. It's all about the fun and laughter on the more serious note, because why be serious when you can seriously be entertained? And your sports lovers, you sport lovers, brace yourselves for exciting sports zone analysis that'll keep you on the edge of your seat. For the fashion forward dreamers, dive into the world of Africa's most model Africa's Model Scout, a reality show like no other. And of course, this show, Fresh Juice, every Monday to Wednesdays at 5 p.m. Your ultimate TV experience is just a tune in away on Joy Prime. Now, let's get to the reason why we're here, and it is about you. So please make sure you're calling us, 0302-211-693 or 0302-211-694. Those are our numbers. You can also join us on Zoom. I'm sure the ID is on your screens. And remember always, we bring you this and more quality entertainment right here on Joy Prime, the most amazing network. Now, let's start off with Kennedy at Japong, who had a revelation I'm sure most of you probably would like to know about. The Member of Parliament for Asin Central Constituency, Kennedy of Japan, has opened up about a conversation he had with media personality Nanaba Anamwa after the demise of his employee. Kwabana Kwachi, well known as Wafakeke, who once worked with Adum 106.3 FM subsidiary station of the Multimedia Group Limited. In a video shared by one Ghana TV, he said, after he, Wafa KK, died, Nanaba Namwa called me after a meeting he had with the deceased over the weekend before his demise. According to her, Kwabana Kwachi spent about 40 minutes giving a testimony about how I, Kennedy Japan, said, have impacted and transformed his life. Kwabana had never told me about this. She, Nanaba Namwa, said even her child at home home knows what Wafa Keke said about me, but he never mentioned it. Our discussion was always about business ideas. According to reports, the prominent broadcaster died on Wednesday, that's Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2024, after he arrived for work, but fell ill suddenly, leading to his untimely demise. And on that note, let's move away from that and bring you some news about some bashing that's going on on social media. Efwa Asantewa is getting the stick from some social media users. Guinness record singathon attempter Efwa Asantewa has ruffled up some cybernauts' feathers after she passed a snide remark about some people on social media. In a recent post on X, Efwa Asantua wrote, too many people expose their ignorance on social media. They comment anyhow with one GH, that's one Ghana CD data, and DM or meet you in person begging for money or job. Lack of knowledge, many perish. They don't know their contact or email used to register their ghosts can easily be tracked. Now, a user said, Madam, 
be calming down, okay? It's not the time to be throwing shade. One Ghana can't even buy airtime anymore, okay? Just keep mute or we will always come here to observe and comment our frustration. And um, there was some swear words there which I would not like to use because I'm a lady. Uh, some also advised her to focus on getting her world record attempt accepted and verified by Guinness World Records, while others reminded her of how internet users used the same one Ghana city data to support her when she was attempted when she attempted her Guinness World Record singathon. So this is a point where I invite you to join us on our social media platforms at Joy Prime TV. Remember, the multimedia group has so many affiliated stations that you should definitely enjoy. Remember, on radio, uh, traditional radio, that is, we have love in Shira Adum FM, Hits 103.9 FM, Joy 99.7 FM, Asempa, and so many others. Remember, also on TV, we have three stations right here, obviously, the Joy Prime, the Joy News Channel, and Adum TV. You can get all this and more stories on our online portals, of course, myjoyonline.com and adumonline.com. Let's move away from that and bring you more juicy, juicy news. Acrobato is congratulating RV and his wife. Ghanaian actor Akrobato has revealed how a slap from his wife led to their divorce. According to him, the slap was so intense that it made him fall. While congratulating Vice President Dr. Mahamudu Baumia and his wife on their 20th marriage anniversary, Akrobato said, quote, I married my wife in 2006. I did not divorce my wife until recently when she slapped me and I fell. I am afraid of marriage now. Baumia, the vice president, and his wife have been married for 20 years. Oh, wow. They have done very well. You see, they are not old, but have married nicely, which is good. So do you think Baumia does not hurt his wife? Do you think Samira does not offend her husband? We all make mistakes, but please, marriage is all about understanding. I thought it was 10 years since they got married. So FYI, the Baumias have been married since February 14, 2004. And congratulations to the couple. Uh, moving away from that, you all know we have a mascot right here in Ghana. Uh, when our football team plays anywhere in the world, there's this man who carries a pot. It's like an earthenware, you know, kind of thing. And he makes us look professional, I must say, that at least we know what we're doing. You know, we have a mascot in Ghana. Now, the pot-carrying um, person, he goes by the name Obo, has revealed some things about his personal life and his wives and concubines. Oh, yeah, you heard me right. Let me bring you more details of this story. I'm sure it's a Ghana, I say, if I say, my name is Baba, it's a four. And I train a war Ghana, I say. Okay, but wouldn't back up in a war? Yeah. And a Bucheni balance war. Yeah. And so we move to. Yeah. A Bucheni anyway. And I won't plan for so a war. Oh, and plan for the. Say, I did a war for a yet on your garden, Kakra. Oh, hey. It's who won't plan for a war. Oh, me and Yamna be poor, me and Pemmy. Okay. Oh, yeah, Madame Hufu. Almost then, I'm the pay war. It's too bad. Okay. And I. Obazo mi mi bi na e once you come mo say once ne keta me okay e bi e be che me be che okay nti o apart from oyiru mu mi e no brazo ni gana ni no say o say ngasa ngasa o mpran for yes eh wash his face e say o mpran for yes eh e modu say oh o mon loss sir o mon loss o be ah e fa so mu ye be say eh 6 
me do my like or but maybe to have a twist and no abide no cramp will be a me my son one as we only say entertainment are gonna mean in the day. So for those of you who do not understand a uh, tree or a can, it basically says that he has two wives, one in Brazil, one in Ghana, and he has six concubines. Uh, yeah, that, that's the question of the day. Uh, my producer wants to ask you, will you like to know who your, well, your husband's side chick or your wife's uh, side dude is? That's the question we're asking today. Let's move away from that and bring you some very amazing uh, visuals. So you do know the chief in the Ash Ashanti region is well known. He's so popular globally. And um, there was a festival just happened recently and he obviously gave us his royal move. So here is the chief of, should I say, yeah, the, the, the Akan clan, you know? Watch these. <laughs> And that was Otun for Osei Tutu II there, um, looking very regal indeed. Let's move on and bring you some more entertainment stories. For those of you who do not know, Black Rasta, a media personality, a radio television personality here in Ghana, he's very, very opinionated about everything and he doesn't mince his words when he says certain things. Now, I'm not sure whether we have visuals or, or pictures or videos of what he said, but he had some words for Fifi Akwete. Radio personality Black Rasta has descended heavily on the General Secretary of the National Democratic Congress, the NDC, Fifi Fiavi Kwete for his utterances about Vice President Dr. Mahamudu Baumia. Speaking on 3FM, Black Rasta said, quote, Honestly, to say Dr. Baumia is a disgrace to the northern region, I feel that it might not be intentional, but it has tribalistic undertones. For instance, if I say a prominent person from the Volta was a disgrace, some people might find it offensive. Fifi Kwete should have said it better. Dr. Baumia is a disgrace to himself and his supporters. His choice of words was problematic, but the truth stands. And for those of you who want to share your lovely opinions, your colorful opinions, I'm here for that. Because of your comments. One comment's Nancy and bay. So I want to read some on social media. And of course, you can call us also on 0302-211-693 or 0302-211-694. Those are our numbers. Now, let's talk about Sammy Flex and Andy Dosti, who clashed on a, a show right here on the Multimedia Group. And um, yeah, we have a video for you where uh, Andy Dosti was questioning, you know, some of the, the actions of Sammy Flex's artist, dancehall musician, Shatawale. It's a mono. And the way I start to kasa, yeah, how he handled it personally makes me feel that. And yet, Bibia, Bibia, I see. It is just about the two of them, one chewing his ego and Sane Marinina will be out. Mm. It could be him, it could be Shatter. Just one person taking off his ego and this will be solved. But Andy said something, say, or Felicia sometimes, Shatter, a man, a man, call extreme. I'm sure someone who is also monitoring from afar can also say, say, I also think Andy has also taken things to the extreme because sometimes Andy makes it clear. I don't know if you mentioned Shatawale's name on my show. 
I will not play Chatawale's song on my show. To an artist, if you say that you not mention his name on your show, you not play his song on the show to an artist, you have taken it to the extreme. Because to the artist, it means you are taking his bread. And if you ask me, be anywhere, oh yeah, do any free na numa, a Benny, they are or best my letter. Hold on a second. Oh, that be my man. No, 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 no Debi mami uko kati ya mami sime kama idia. Debi oka udia mami kama idia. Mami 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 Calm down a little bit, you know. But anyway, let's move away from that and go on our phone lines. We welcome. Hello. 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 Mavis? Yeah. Good yeah. evening. Thanks for joining us. How are you? I'm fine. Yourself? I'm very well, thank you. What do you have to add? Yeah, what, I want what do you to want comment to on that if what is that coming? Sorry? Okay, please go ahead. Yeah. You know, she should be careful the way she handles... I mean, she should be careful the way she handles things. Else, she's in Ghana and she... She handles things. She's in Ghana and she will steal the fire. So she should be careful the way she talks, the way she talks. I, I once saw her on one of the stations going with the husband, the way she was behaving. I think she has too much fear. Ooh, was, you didn't like yeah. it? I didn't like it at all. What did she do? Why well, she was going for a program on one of the stations with the husband, and instead of her following and being in front of the husband, she rather came back to follow the husband, made the husband to sit down before her, which I didn't like, because a man going with a, a lady, I think the lady should rather be in front of the man, but she had rather come to be behind the husband, which I didn't, I didn't feel well about it, so she should be a bit careful, yeah. So when you're going somewhere with your husband, are you married? No, I'm not. You... But normally, the men have to be behind us. It's a sign of protection. Okay. Thank you. Right. Ifwa, <laughs> you have a missed call. <laughs> but anyway, let's move away from that. And um, obviously, go on our social media platforms and check your comments out. I hope there's many to read. So please, uh, so that's Moby the Motivator, so that's my own page. And okay, it seems there are no comments under there. But go and follow, 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 follow. It's Moby the Motivator and let's get interactive, okay? Let's move on and bring you some more. Trust me, Sarkodia is going to excite you guys. He went to Brekum and the crowd, the reception alone, you know, made his his performance even better than he usually does, you know? So congratulations to the whole Sark Nation and Brekum for, I want fans from Brekum. You guys are fire. Ghanaian musician Sarkodia was welcomed with cheers by a massive crowd of fans in Brekum. As his car drove into the streets, many of his fans, who were eager to catch a glimpse of their favorite artists, rushed to it, and Sarkodia didn't hesitate to step out of his vehicle, choosing instead to walk among the crowd, shaking hands and sharing smiles with his adoring supporters. The excitement peaked as Sarkodia took to the stage to perform at his concert, where he performed his latest hit songs, Otan and Till We Die for the first time.
Okay, don't let me rap right here, but I love that track, you know. Um, we have jo Joanne. Hello. Julius. Hello. Hi, Julius. Hi. Did I get the name right? Julius, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, that's the name. Hi, okay, so darling. Hi, can, can I talk? Please talk. So, I want to share my opinion on the uh, and the Dusty and some play. Right. But please I, speak up so people can hear you. Okay, so, I think that one of them took it so personal. Um, and um, Sammy Flex took the, took the whole issue so personal. I think she was, she was actually referring to maybe that like that came between Atawale and and it just took some time ago and um, as the manager you don't have to take it and so personal like that. I mean so next time it should be it's okay cool. Yeah. That's what I wanted to say. Okay, and you had your piece. Congratulations. Let's take a little break. When I do return, oh my god, I'll tell you who did this and all of this. Don't go anywhere. And you're still watching Fresh Juice. We're about to set it all down. But before we do that, let me update you on what's going on. For those of you who are lovers and followers of Hadria For Real, she has deactivated some of her social media platforms. So don't fret. I'm sure we're going to be bringing you updates later on as to the whys and all of that. So keep it locked. Remember also, when it comes to international news, we keep you updated. For those who love 50 Cent and Dr. Dre, Get ready for some new heat. They're bringing us something extraordinary, and I am for it. I'm dying to find out what it is. Dr. Dre, iconic. And then 50 Cent, another veteran. This is going to be amazing. But as I said, the people in charge of my awesome look today, first off, going out to God, my mom and dad, for coming together. And of course, my makeup artist today, Eugenia, thank you so much for slaying or slapping makeup on my face today. Of course, my hair is always by Elite Hair Studios, right opposite the textbook market on the Spintex Road. Elite Hair Studios, you bought your first floor. You can't miss it. It's written in yellow, so find it right opposite, okay? And for those who think I have gray skin, I was born with gray skin, yeah. But Platinum, the spa right opposite, the La Palm, La Palm Wine Junction, I beg your pardon, right opposite the Shell Petrol Station over there are the reason why I feel relaxed even when I'm stressed and I look so good. I don't break out in spots and all of that. So Platinum the Spa is the place if you want your skin polished. My name is Movi the Motivator. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>